In this film, we will consider the recognition features of the Soviet jet bomber, the Badger. Because a Soviet jet transport, based on the design of the Badger, has been in allied countries, we know more about the Badger firsthand than we do about most Soviet aircraft. This aircraft is a medium-range jet bomber in the class of the B-47. However, it is powered by only two jet engines. This aircraft is available in large numbers, so it is important that it be recognized instantly. In the side view, the Badger has a typical bomber nose, a chin radome, and a cockpit fared into the fuselage. There is a definite break in the line of the fuselage at the cockpit. The fuselage is long and slender. Engine nacelles appear to be almost as large as the fuselage itself. This gives it a heavy appearance amidships. The vertical tail is large and angular, with a prominent fairing to the fuselage. The top is squared off. The tail is raked sharply aft on the leading edge and slightly aft on the trailing edge. There is a stinger in the tail with the turret below and the radar just above. The horizontal tail is set up on the fin above the top line of the fuselage. The entire fuselage, particularly the tail section, is identical with the turboprop bear. Also like the bear, there are two sighting blisters at the rear of the fuselage under the tail, one on each side. Head on, the first thing to strike you is the large engine air intakes. The engines are mounted close to the fuselage in the thick root of the wing. From the thick root, the wing tapers to a very thin section at the tip. The wing, mid-mounted on the fuselage, is straight, but from some angles appears to droop. The horizontal tail has slight dihedral. The vertical tail is extremely high. Remote controlled turrets are mounted forward on top of the fuselage and aft on the bottom of the fuselage. The extremely large air intakes indicate the use of bypass engines. In plan view, the Badger shows a total form that appears to have everything bunched in the middle. The two large engine nacelles close to the fuselage cause this effect. The nacelles extend both fore and aft of the wing. The fuselage is long, cigar-shaped, and small in diameter compared to its length. The wing is swept and slightly cranked. Tips are squared off. Trailing edge pods just outboard of the engines house the landing gear. The horizontal tail is swept to match the wing. Again, the tips are squared off. Watch this high performance medium jet bomber from all angles and get to know its total form well. The Badger has only two airflow control fences, in contrast to three on its turboprop counterpart, the Bear. The long, thin fuselage, the heavy appearing midsection, the swept wing and large tail are recognition features from any angle. Reviewing the Badger's features head on, the extremely large air intakes close to the fuselage and the high tail stand out most clearly. Going away, the landing gear pods on the wing as well as the large engines in the thick root of the wing are prominent.
the badger is an important weapon in the soviet stable of jet bombers get to know it now